All right, Steve Von Brandt here for the Bass College. We're down here in Lower Delaware throwing swim jigs out in the pads up back in the creeks. Got the lightning and thunder all around us. Had some heavy storms move through. Throwing a Dirty Jigs California swim jig with a Grandy Bass Mega Claws trailer on the back of it. Hold that bass up, Jack. Where did you get there, man? That is giant. <laughs> Jack, what's that? Five, five and a half, That's isn't it? it? Got to be, got to be about that. Yes. All right, man. You really are hot today, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing because I think somebody else might have caught yeah, that. Yeah, I think it might have been Steve who caught this. But I, that's I, nice, I just Jack. For him. That's nice, Jack. That's a very nice fish. Yeah. Very nice fish. All right, let's let that baby go. Let's get some more. You can throw a swim jig now. We'll see what happens. All right, there we go. There's number two. Dirty jigs, California swim jig, half ounce, up in shallow pads in the backs of the creek. Raining, lightning coming by us, crazy weather, whacking this swim jig hard. Got a Grandi Bass Mega Claws trailer on the back. Only this time it's that cotton candy color. I'm going to put an Okeechobee crawl on a minute, see how they hit that too. Swim jig, that's the deal. All over the country. To learn how to throw this swim jig. Use braid, seven, seven and a half foot, medium heavy to heavy action rod. Man, there they are. Decent bass down here in Delaware. There we go. Not a big one, but another one. Back here, they're really hitting the swim jig up in shallows. Get into the backs of the creeks, real shallow water, throw that swim jig up into the pads. You can just reel it right through. You want to work it like a spinner bait or a crank bait. Nice steady retrieve, not slow. They take it, hesitate just a split second, really whack them. There you go, another bass. We'd have a three fish limit already right now. What? Five, eight, ten pounds. Ten pounds on three fish. Win a local Delaware tournament. Have you on your way to a five fish limit of 13, 15 pounds, and then you can start calling anywhere there is. Potomac, Table Rock. Doesn't matter. Coast to coast, swim jigs, in the grass, up shallow, in cover, that's the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> the kid is on them today, buddy. Ready for the Potomac. Going to be in the Bassmaster Weekend Series. We'll be there in 10 days. Me, Tom Wolverton, Kurt Von Brandt, we're going to be out there. Look out. We got some spots. They're hot. They're hitting this swim jig. We're just not going to tell you where yet. And it's a different technique if you've never done it, but this is a hot technique, works all over the country. There's another one, nice bass. Let's go get some more. Okay, Jack, tell them what happened and what I told you and then how you caught that fish. Well, he came up, we we're fishing in the back of the creek here in the pads and uh, he came up and smacked it. And you told me to uh, keep casting in there if he hadn't hooked on there. He might come back and hit it again, and uh, of course I made like two more casts, and bam, he hit it like a ton of bricks, and uh, there he is. And you're using a swim jig. Now that's the first swim jig fish you've caught, isn't it? That's correct. Very yeah. first one. Now how'd you like that? How'd that hit? And it hit feel? He hit pretty hard. He hit, he hit like a hammer. It rode nice. That's different to swim jig, isn't yep, it? Yep, sure is. Yeah, it's sure a hot, is. hot technique. Yep, swallowed the bait. It went down pretty deep inside of his mouth when it uh, he hit. All right, decent. All back in the pads, in shallow pads, about a foot to two feet deep. Brother, it's a long road from Amistad to Toho. Doesn't matter which way you go, the miles are all the same. You finally get there, and when you pull the cover off, then it's time to get a little bit lost out on the lake. Gonna back this boat into the water, find a way to win a couple dollars. Jack, tell him about this. I just threw in here. <laughs> He had one on, and he got off, and then he threw right back, and he got that one. We're thinking there might even be more than that in there. They're up in water that's not even three inches deep, all the way back in the creeks. You got to get into the backs of the creeks. That's where they are. The one I just had on was like four or five pounds. It's not the same thing. Okay, I think this is number seven or eight for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a couple others that uh, got off. One was like almost five pounds, but all these bass now are on the swim jig. Dirty jig, half ounce like we told you with the Grandy Bass on the back. 
what you got to do is you got to swim it up there, you throw it in, you swim it like a crankbait, okay? That's how fast you're working it. A good moderate pace, even some of the little faster, like a spinner bait. Get it right up into the shallow. Don't be afraid to go shallow. Burn that sucker off and they take it, hesitate just a split second, bang. When you're in the deeper water, you want to slow it down just a tiny bit, not a lot, and swim it through the grass. When it ticks the grass or the brush, pull it off, they're going to hit it right away. You got a really real fast, you want to use a high speed reel, 7 to 1, uh, 6 4 minimum, so you can catch up with them. They run with it twice as fast as they do with any other bait, right at you, right under the boat. They're 50 yards out faster than you can imagine. So that's what you do. Swim jigs all over the country. This is working it's how you win a tournament. Jack Evans, catching bass on swim jigs. Baby. Jack has a tournament tomorrow with the uh, Dover uh, Bass Club. Yep. At, um, where is it, that Silver Lake? Silver Lake and Dover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's, a, I think we've got about eight or nine now total. I uh, lost two, but I think we've landed, what, seven, huh? Yeah. Not bad, considering okay. it's 10 o'clock, yep. you know, and we just came right after light, you know, we didn't Swim even jig. get here in the dark. Decent, decent bass. Mm -hmm. Down here in Lower Delaware. Here we Delaware. are in the back of a cove. Jack said, look at that. He says, look. I kept telling him, I said, look for those fish moving and stuff. Kurt found them in here before like this. And he, he says, there's one through that jig boy. And tell them how fast they run when they hit he the swing all, jig. Well, they, all the way under the boat before I could even set the hook. He was under the boat. I couldn't even get the hook set until after he got over to the boat. Nice, healthy bass, nice huh? Fish, yeah, you yeah. see what a swim jig can do for you, though? Oh, yeah. Swim jig's where it's at right now. Pretty fish. Nice. The water here is about three to five inches deep. The temperature is 90 degrees, bright sun, middle of the day, June. Swim jigs, Grandi Bass Mega Claws trailer. I put rattles on the jig. Show them how I did that, Jack. I took rattle bands and put them on the backs of the swim jigs and then put the Grandi Bass on the back instead of like pocket crawls or the other type of trailers that people use. And I'm using it on 65 pound test braid. What I like to do though uh, is I throw it a lot of times on the 50 pound test spider line, um, spider wire it's called now, floor braid because it sinks. Um, but this was Power Pro 65, but that's working pretty good, huh? Yep, very nice. Again, California swim jig. Dirty jigs, grindy bass. Show them where that came from, Jack. Underneath the dock. Right there. Underneath the dock and uh, hit it. Right where I caught the sevens and all those other big fish you saw like earlier in the year and last year. But that's a decent one, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, you hooked him twice? Are you hit, First hit, I hit had him over. and then had him hooked. He got off. And then I said, oh, Jack, so I just let it lay on the bottom. And I started to reel up and he had it again but wasn't hooked. I said, Jack, throw in there, and look right at away, that. Right away, hit him. About two and a half pounds. They don't want to let go, do they? No. I yeah. mean, they start chasing it, and uh, even when they feel the hook, they still want it. Yep. Swim jig. It's where it's at right now. It's hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. See what we're doing? What do you think of these swim jigs, buddy? That is a nice fish, and these swim jigs are where oh, yeah. it's at. Hey, Jack, I <laughs> like swim <laughs> jigs, buddy. Give me some swim jigs. California, dirty jigs, swim jigs. I want them. <laughs> I want them now. And I want grande bass on the back of them. <laughs> Give me grande bass. I want it. Nice Six fish. Six pounds almost, man. It's giant. Nice, nice bass. That is a nice fish. Okay, great day. Swim jigs, that's the deal. Appreciate it if you guys would stop in the forums, register in there at the Bass College, and click on Discount Tackle and Free Baits. You can find out how you can get free baits with all your orders from Tackle Warehouse. We'll be on the Potomac next week within the Potomac uh, Bassmaster Weekend Series Tournament. Steve, uh, Tom Wolverton, Kurt Von Brandt, so stop down, see us if you're down in Potomac area. We'll be out with uh, my pro staff, Mark Borger, there filming the whole tournament while everybody else is out in the pro staff. I think you'll enjoy that. So stop down and see us if you're in there. So until next time, this is Steve Von Brandt for the Bass College, and I'm here with uh, Jack Evans, and we'll see you next time down on the water.